What's up party people, Android Stud here. And I have a case here from Nomad. Now this is a Nomad leather case. So if you're still looking for a leather case for your iPhone 15 Pro Max, I got you covered. This company is awesome. I wanna thank them for sending out these cases. Uh, they make great cases, accessories, but they have the entire lineup covered from the iPhone 15 to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Drop down the link in the description if you wanna pick these up. I'll leave a link down in the description to all their cases. Uh, I have the rustic brown leather case here. Now, if you're not happy with the Apple fine woven cases because they no longer have the leather for their 15 Pro Max or 15 or 15 Plus or 15 Pro, uh, you want a leather for your 15 Pro Max, then you can check this one out. Um, they have three colors. They have a black, they have a rust uh, English tan, and a rustic brown. This is the rustic brown. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. I love the packaging that they have from Nomad, really nice. And as you can see there, I think we have to do a smell test. What do you think? Oh, that's what I love about leather. Leather cases on phones are awesome because they always smell so good. Um, and Nomad does make some good quality cases. Um, <laughs> that's from me smelling it but look at this thing this thing is an absolute beauty you have the black detail there you have your nomad branding there you have your on and off button you have your buttons here for your action button there's no cut out this is an actual button so you can push your volume up and down and then down here you have your uh, type C and your speakers, your microphones, all that good stuff. Inside here, you have microfiber cloth material so your phone does not get scratched up. This is MagSafe compatible, so you'll be able to pop it onto a MagSafe, do whatever, whatever you do. There's some more Nomad branding on the inside, but this thing is an absolute beauty. I do enjoy their cases. I think they're some of the best. Um, and I'm telling you, this is full grain, sustainably, sustainably sourced leather, develops patina over time, uh, aluminum buttons, eight foot drop protection, um, MagSafe and wireless charging capability. capability. So um, yeah, this is definitely a nice one. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in, take a look at how it flows. Ooh, yeah, this is nice. Look at that. I mean, you have no problem with this right here. Look at this. This is nice. I really do like this case. Um, let's take a look around at the, 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 the case itself. I love this texture on this button here, man. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on camera, but it has like a little bit of a um, material here. So you can know, you can find your power button you don't want to turn it on, turn it off. You're good. And then over here, you have some good buttons here. These are like beautiful black buttons, volume up and down. You have no problems there. Then your action button. I have mine set to the camera. Boom. You want to take a little picture. You're good to go. Um, and then on your camera housing here, you have a lip there, so you have some pretty decent protection there. I do like that. And then here on the bottom, it's covered up so that you are you don't have any damage on the bottom. I don't like cases that have an open on the bottom. That's just, it doesn't make sense to me. And then you have, uh, they're opening there for your speakers and your type C port. Um, yeah, looks nice there. And then as far as lip protection for the actual screen, it looks pretty good, not bad. Um, it's not an extreme overlip, but you do get a little bit of protection there. It does work, to work with a screen protector. This is a screen protector from Whitestone Dome. You wanna check out that video, go ahead and check out my channel. I did a video on the Whitestone Dome. But this is an impressive looking case. I do like this rustic brown. Take a look at the other colors. You have the uh, English tan, as I mentioned, that you can pick up. And that one is a little lighter, a little more, um, uh, you know, this one's dark. This one's a little, uh, stands out a little more. Um, and then you have the black, obviously, is the traditional 
black leather, which is nice. Um, but yeah, this matches up well with the uh, titanium blue. So I got no complaints there. Looks really nice. Um, and it's just a good quality case. I do like the black on the sides. Um, it does give it that contrast and I do like that. So yeah, this is definitely uh, something to look out for. Um, as far as uh, if you're looking for a leather case and you don't like the fine woven or the unchosen one <laughs> as they're calling it on the tech streets. But yeah, this is nice. I like the way this one looks very impressive. All right, well, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I'll definitely um, show you. I'm gonna be showing off some more Nomad cases um, on the channel. So make sure you guys keep that locked in right here at Android Stud. But I appreciate you guys watching. Take care. Thank you.